Lisa Brown joining us. Thank you so much for being here first and foremost. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. I got a lot of questions for you, uh, Lisa, if you don't mind. First, starting off with the resources and assistance that you provide. Can you just describe or talk about those resources and assistance that you provide for local communities, including West Bloomfield? Sure. Well, let me back up a second by saying that uh, it was not every county has offered to their local clerks uh, mm. to coordinate early voting, but I had said actually in the West Bloomfield Town Hall before it even passed that I would offer that to our local clerks and it's worked out really well. Uh, we hire the workers, we train the workers, we ordered and all the equipment, we pay for a lot of the costs. It's um, a cost savings to the communities that, mm -hmm. uh, that partner with us, mm -hmm. as well as I always say democracy is a team sport. And our local clerks have a lot on their plates already. I can't imagine having to do everything they do and try and run early voting at the same time. Right. So it's been a wonderful uh, partnership. We love that. We love that you are actually providing those resources, the training, and all the things that we need in order to execute uh, effectively that early voting in person right here in West Bloomfield. Now, since we are talking about early voting and the resources that you provide for that, I'm curious to know, how does the services and resources you provide for early voting compare to the resources and services you provide for actual election day? Well, so uh, election day uh, precincts are completely under the, the purview of uh, our municipal clerks, our mm -hmm. city and township clerks. Um, in 2020, a law was signed by the governor that allows uh, local municipalities to, to partner with the county to in tabulating absentee ballots. Right. So um, that's another way that on election day we are uh, partnering is we tabulate absentee ballots for a number of our communities, including West Bloomfield. Nice. And with us right here live on the splash, we have Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds, Lisa Brown, talking about the early voting process right here in Oakland County and the greater West Bloomfield area. Now, overall, with that constitutional amendment that passed in November 2020, how do you feel like that overall impacted just voting and the aspect of voting amongst residents right here in Oakland County? There's a, there's a lot that came with it, and I think every single part of it is helping to ensure that eligible citizens have their voice heard, mm -hmm. that their vote gets counted, and that they have more access to the ballot. So whether you're a military or overseas voter, or now with early voting, uh, the permanent ballot list, I mean, a, a list of things that are really making sure that people have um, less obstacles to exercise the right to vote. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and, and I love that, too, that, you know, because everybody's schedule is different. Everybody's, you know, well, our life is different. So everyone couldn't, you know, can't necessarily make the election day on that day. So early voting, absentee voting, all those different options are very, very needed for our different residents with different things going on. What has been, from your perspective, what has been the initial response or turnout from voters regarding early in-person voting? Well, voters who have utilized it have loved it. Um, I, for one, have utilized it and absolutely love it. Um, you know, Tuesday, Election Day is a busy day for me, mm -hmm. um, uh, working, <laughs> working. Um, and it's just, it's, for anyone who hasn't done it yet, it feels the same as when you go to vote in your precinct on Election Day. Okay. Um, and the workers love it. You know, it's hmm. it's not a 13 plus hour day like Election Day is. Mm. And they have even said that the voters who come in seem friendlier. I, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> yeah. we'll take it. It's worked out really well. And with each election, we're seeing more and more people utilize it, uh, which is great. We want this to catch on. Yeah. We want people to know that this is an option mm -hmm. and also that people can bring their absentee ballots to the early voting site and put it in the tabulator to have that confidence that their absentee ballot has been counted as well. Mm, great point, too. <laughs> and we actually spoke to some local residents earlier, and they also expressed, and we can see it in their face, they seem a lot more relaxed, happy. They're doing it on their own time, just go in, vote. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about the crowd or anyone else trying to, right. you know, manipulate or, or affect their vote. They go in on their own time, vote, and get up out of there. So I completely understand and agree with that. From, from your office, the Oakland County's perspective, has there been any challenges in uh, actually implementing this early in-post person voting, and how have you overcome them? Well, 
I mean, it was something new <laughs> for all of us here in Michigan um, and a lot for my team to take on. But mm -hmm. um, I said, before we do this, I need to see what it looks like. So uh, my director of elections and I went down to Virginia where they have the same voting equipment. They have 45 days uh, of early voting, which is a lot, oh. um, <laughs> just to see their setup. And we learned a lot from them that we could then implement um, in, in <laughs> our setup. And that was very, very helpful for us. Very so, but with each time we're we're learning more. You know, when after um, we piloted in November, I went and visited our sites mm -hmm. uh, across the county. Some of them I felt really needed more signage, um, different things like that that we've we've built upon with every time that we've implemented early voting. Hmm. Going down to Virginia to check. I respect that. I respect that. To, to, to kind of learn what the process is and get information and ideas and pick the brains of people who are actually going through it, even though you had to travel, is still great, great experience. So thank you for doing that. I, I completely understand that. With us right here live on the splash, we have Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds. Lisa Brown talking about early voting right here in Oakland County in the greater West Bloomfield area. How has your office worked to actually educate voters about abil uh, availability and the process of early in-person voting? Well, every voter uh, should have received a postcard uh, mm -hmm. that was actually required by the law that gave the, the times and the days, not dates, because this is a one-time postcard, mm. uh, but the days uh, and their location. So any community that partnered with us, uh, any voter in those communities actually have two places, that they, two options where they could uh, cast their early vote. Either their regional site, which in the greater West Bloomfield area is the West Bloomfield Library, or at Waterford Oaks Activity Center. Right. Uh, so that was one way of communicating. Uh, we've got it on our website. I know our local clerks, we you know, agreed everyone was going to post it on their website as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been talking to the media about it. I've posted social media about it, uh, trying to, and, and really word of mouth. And we've yeah. encouraged people. And even some of the workers have been like texting their friends and saying, mm -hmm. hey, you should come early vote because they see how great it is as well. Yeah, we've been a part of that entire process, spreading the word right here on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM. We've interviewed election workers as well who are very, very uh, educated and knowledgeable about it. So uh, I completely understand, and it's our job to continuously get that word out as well. Since we're talking about And early, I appreciate that. Yes. I appreciate that. Yes, and we appreciate you for coming here too. But since we are talking about early voting, which is a different turnout and process than election day. What security measures have been in place to ensure the integrity and security of ballots cast during the early voting period? Well, just like your precinct on election day, we have Democrats and Republicans working together in every early voting site. Um, no results can, there's not even a possibility that results could be uh, 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 known by anyone. Uh, you can't print the tape um, until after the polls close on election day. We've programmed it that way. Um, and every night the ballots are put in a sealed container. There is a number on the seal that is recorded in the poll book mm -hmm. um, and that is checked to make sure there's no tampering. And then on top of that, it's stored in a locked room. So we've got double locks, you know, on the ballot container itself, as well as the room that it's uh, uh Locked it, secured it. There we overnight. go. There we go. Defeating all misconceptions about any voter tampering, election tampering. We we want to <laughs> clarify that right now and let you know that security is in place to make sure our votes are counted and they matter. And Lisa Brown, I appreciate your time. Uh, we, we definitely went past a little bit more time than I expected. Any last key information for our residents of Greater West Bloomfield regarding early in-person voting or voting in general? Uh, I want to remind people that they can still early vote uh, today, Saturday, Sunday, 8.30 to 4.30 at the West Bloomfield Library or, again, at the Waterford Oaks Activity Center if you're out that way running errands. Um, and, again, you can bring your absentee ballot in um, to your early voting site or to your precinct and put it in the tabulators yourself. You'll still have to fill out the application to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, but this way, again, you're you're you have the confidence that your ballot has been tabulated. At this point, I wouldn't recommend putting an absentee ballot in the mail. I just would make me nervous if it would get here in time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but make sure that you do vote. And um, remember to, you can only vote in the August primary, you can only vote one party's candidates. That's the same on the front mm -hmm. and back. 
So stay in your lane, but don't forget about the nonpartisan section. We have some ballot questions here. So, you know, you're going to be voting in two um, columns, the one all the way to the far right, which is a nonpartisan, and then either the Democratic column or the Republican column. Perfect. Perfect place to land the plane again. We appreciate your information. And my favorite word of the day out of this conversation is tabulation. I don't know why that stood out to me. But thank you again. We have Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds, Lisa Brown, talking about early voting right here in Oakland County and West Bloomfield. We appreciate your time. Thank you.